Hey everybody, Bam Collectibles here, back for another figure review for you. Now I know what you're thinking, this is not a statue, but let me tell you, Final Fantasy VII has been one of my favorite games of all time, and when I saw that these Polygon figures were being released, I had to have them. Taking a look at the box art, they're showcasing all the different characters, there's a bunch of language I don't know, and there is three others, as well as a secret that they're not showing right here that we'll showcase towards the end. These figures are currently only sold in Japan, coming to the United States in the near future. They're sold in a blind box at a price of $6.50 at 7-Elevens. I purchased mine through a proxy bidding service that won auctions off of Yahoo Japan Auction. The number on the outside of the first bag I thought was representing what character it is, but actually the numbers and the characters inside don't typically line up for some reason. It is an absolute dream to see these figures in real life. As you can see, holding on my hand, they're about two to two and a half inches tall. Thank goodness these are made of a high quality plastic, which means some of the pointy or more fragile parts will not bend. It's very durable all around. Why Square Enix took so long to create something like this to sell for the fans is beyond me. These, I imagine, are gonna sell so quickly off the shelves and become valuable over time. Most boxes will come with a separate bag that has some black round discs inserted. What these are are counterweights that allow so people can't weigh the boxes to only get specific characters. Maybe if they're only searching for the secret rares or only searching for Cloud or Sephiroth, they can't do that. These throw off the ability for them too. Chill out, Barrett. They're gonna subscribe to the channel if they want to. Don't be using that kind of suggestive language on my channel. Though if you do wanna check out the Soldier First Class Edition unboxing, I will be showcasing that in the near future. The girl that set the bar pretty high for kids when they were younger. I really hope that this figure series is successful overall so they can expand it to include more characters. Maybe some of these original characters we're seeing here in battle stances or with their weapons equipped. All I know is I love me some high quality detailed statues, but there's nothing like these retro type polygon figures. Reno coming in looking as BA as ever in that slick suit. It's incredible though, for only two and a half inches tall, these figures did pack in all the details that you remember them having in the game. Incoming the ancient masquerading as a flower girl. Unlike Reno and soon to see Sephiroth, she does have a smile. They don't have any kind of lips sculpted onto the figure at all. I will mention that the sturdiness of these figures are top notch. On the bottom of the feet, everything is nice, flat, and balanced, so they stand. If you bump a table or accidentally knock into something, they don't tip over very easily. Red 13 is sculpted as perfectly as I imagine him to be, being that he's not a human, so it's probably not as easy to sculpt him or have them come out, but he's exactly as I wanted him to be. You can see on here the branding of the SQEX to represent Square Enix trademark on there. I never understand the purpose of these. If somebody's gonna recast them, they could just include that on there as well. No big deal. But sometimes it could be an eyesore. Thankfully, it blends in pretty nicely. Big man Barrett. I will say his specific blind box didn't have any of those black round discs in it. My guess is because he's so heavy as it is that if you put more weight in there, you'd know that it was Barrett. I have to say, I'm extremely looking forward to Barrett in the Final Fantasy VII Remake game. Already in the demo alone, he had me cracking up with all the banter he has between the different characters. I will say it was very odd to have Sephiroth without his sword. I understand why Square Enix did not include it because they're going for more of a profile-based figurine, but man, does he seem a little less menacing without that long sword. Please keep in mind when you do purchase these, when they release in the United States, they are truly blind boxes. You're not guaranteed to get a set of all seven or the eight secret if you do purchase a whole package. It was so freaking funny that the actual chase or secret figure was Cloud in his dress. I'm not sure of the percentages or how rare he is to get in a box, but I will say his cost alone was nearly as much as all the other seven figures. Now you might be thinking, Bam, why did you purchase all eight? Why didn't you just buy seven? It would be cheaper. Because I was raised in a generation of Pokemon and gotta catch them all. If you're looking to get all eight, my recommendation would be to buy a whole box, see what you get, and then fill in the blanks after by buying them separately. I know this review was a little bit different from what I normally do on my channel, but I hope you did enjoy it. I, at the end of the day, I'm gonna share with you things that I love, things that I collect, and things that I'm passionate about. On that note, take care. I'll see you in another video. And as always, do what you love and love what you do. Bam out.